previously on Eden. She's just like, get over here. Oh no, she's crying. No, not the crying. I can't stand the crying. Well, that puts a somber mood on it. That's my grave. <laughs> oh, you are a smart girl. And our story continues. Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake of the One Man Band is back again. Welcome back to Eden. Uh, Maya's left us. Sean's taking a turn for the worst. Planet's still gonna die. But we're happy, so that's all that matters. Let's get right back into it. When I knock and open the door, she is already awake. She sat upright and gazed aimlessly with a dazed look in her eyes. Oh, hi, oh. Morning, Sean. Nice to see you again. I walk up to her bedside with a tray which contains breakfast. For two! Breakfast for two in bed! Oh, hi, oh, Good morning. I'm still in really big pajamas. We should get you a Snuggie. Uh, Sean gave a tiny nod, her eyes drowsy. Bro, about face. Oh, you want to check out my butt? Want to check out my butt? Too bad. Why? <laughs> Was she that out of it? I think so. She wants to check out my butt. I look at her doubtfully as she shook her head side to side. I'll get up today. I'll also eat my breakfast in the d dining room. You went to the trouble of bringing it to me, too. Sorry. Shion, you don't have to force yourself. I'm perfectly capable of walking up the stairs and down the stairs and doing all that stuff, making breakfast, bringing it to you. I care about you. That's why I brought you breakfast in bed. Today's an important day. So I'll get up. Oh, great! It's an important day! I think she's gonna die on this important day. What's, uh, what's most important is my health, I know. But still. Sorry. Oh, don't you, uh, demo me. I've been saving up my strength to get up today. I'll be fine. Got it. When I came, d when it came down to it, I couldn't fight her. Can't you can't argue with a woman, Ryu. They always win. Who could look into those determined eyes and say no? No! No! I bet Angry Joe could. <laughs> uh they were different from the innocent eyes of a mere child. Those eyes possessed both honesty and a strength which had never been sullied despite my many, many years behind despite the many, many years behind them. Real? Oh, yeah, I understand. I won't stop you from getting up anymore. You are your own person. Not that. I want to change. Okay. Sorry. I'll leave. I turn around and headed toward the door. It felt to me as though Shion had changed in some way since Maya left. Before, she had mentioned waiting to get in the baths together, but lately it was coming for her to get oddly embarrassed. Well, that's because, you know, Maya kissed me, and now she's like, oh, I'm an embarrassed little schoolgirl. Mm, I was sure it was a change for the better. Now we don't have to take baths together! Jeez! Good stuff, Emma. Thank you for the meal. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> A breakfast menu was modest, as always, consider, um, consisting of bread, egg salad, and vegetable soup. What's wrong with that? I would love to have that for breakfast every day. It's always dry cereal for me. However, Sean only took a small sip at the soup. If you, didn't, if you don't eat a little more, it'll be bad for your health. Eat. We're like the, the grandmother now. Eat! Eat! You must eat! You're getting so thin! <laughs> Sorry for not finishing, but at this point, it won't affect the end result significantly, even if you increase my portions. I wanted to say, I wanted to ask her what result she meant, but I held my tongue. Sent Shion would, without a doubt, answer point blank. You eat the rest. Ah, oh, well, as the man of the house, that means I gotta eat all the leftovers. So I will do so. 
I nodded silently and pulled her leftovers over to me. Our food situation wasn't so well off that we could throw anything away. No. Ryo, if you're finished eating, it's okay. No! Can't let precious food go to waste! Do you want to go outside? Yeah. I want to see it with my own eyes. Let me look on you with my own eyes. Look. You can't even see anything from here. I know. But I just like. But I think just lazing around, sitting in bed and waiting for the moment to come, is far too irresponsible. I see. I gobbled down Xion's leftover bread with one bite. After all, this is the end. Yes. Yes, I know. All too well that this is the end. I'm actually kind of sad. Nine... Nine fifty-one and forty-one seconds a.m. Uh, what time zone? Probably Japan. I checked the digit displays on my military-issued wristwatch I hadn't worn in some time. some time. This watch, created with a stress on precision and durability, could endure use even on the battlefield. It had never failed me and continued to tick away accurately. <laughs> Looks like it's about that time. So are we talking about when the last sh uh, ship will leave? Because that's what I think we're talking about. I whispered to myself, then look at Shion as she slowly made her way forward. It hardly showed on her face, but I sensed she was excited to Shion. some extent. Shion, you're not tired? There seems to be fewer animals and insects as of late. Uh, an acute observation. But are you okay? It happens all the time, so it didn't bother me that my question had been completely ignored. But still, she perceived, uh, uh, perceived the changes on the mountain very well for someone who was almost always bedridden. It obvious, it's obvious that cries from birds and in insects are diminishing, but it doesn't look like they're actually dying off or anything. They're just kind of going. Are they migrating? Probably. They might be sensing the collapse to come. Regardless to where they may run to, I doubt it'll make a difference. Yeah, but that's what's so tenacious about animals. They're tenacious. <laughs> they might know that too. Even if they know that it's useless, struggling to the very end is in the nature of all living things. Yeah! Animals don't think on terms of useless or beneficial. They're just obsessed with living. Well, that's kind of what they do, is live. <laughs> Mankind is the same in that regard. Being tenacious! <laughs> A cold wind blew uh, by us. Shion stopped in place and I looked beyond the hill. They become obsessed, made many sacrifices, and this is the final result. It'll be very soon. Very soon, the final ship will take off into space! I was right! Upon it... Uh, upon it rode the very last people left on this planet and all their hopes and dreams as they headed towards the future. I wonder if Maya will be on it. Well, she better be on it! She's supposed to write our story! That woman is more cunning than she looks. There's no way she'd be left behind. Mankind will leave the planet where it was born and raised. Where do you think they'll head to next? Pluto. No, probably Mars or Venus. Those are probably the two planets in our solar system that probably could be terraformed. Unless they're going to go, like, try to find a new solar system. But I guess that doesn't really matter, because the story in this story is about us on Earth. My train of thought was halted by her unexpected so, question. Well, once they adjust to living in space, they'll begin a journey to find a planet that they can occupy and new energy sources. So, Janet. Not that. Well, what do you mean by not that? Shion shook her head with a thin smile. All people journey. That's a given. They've journeyed over and over again for thousands, if not tens of thousands of years. Arrived somewhere, live there, and then begin their journey anew. 
The scale of it is just a little different this time. The length of time they took to prepare and the amount of bread they've stuffed into their bags were larger this time. Doom was all that awaited them at the end of their long journey on this planet. I wonder what they'll do next. They'll go to a new planet and start the whole cycle all over again. It's the circle of life. It's the wheel of fortune. It's the leap of faith. On the path unwinding! It's the circle! The circle of life! Yes. Yeah. No matter what fate is waiting for them, humans will never cease to move forward. Even if they hit a dead end, they'll break down the walls if they have to and create a new path just as you did once did. Many lives will be sacrificed upon the rubble of those broken walls. Yeah, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And those memories will be passed down through the ages. It, I too look into the distance beyond the hill. At the mountains, which stayed the same round year. Year round. Before long, I was sure this familiar scenery would begin to change. How I wished I was wrong. Yo. Yo? Yes, what is it? We're panning down. You are smiling. That is nice. I'm glad you're here with me. Well, I'm glad I'm here too. I get to die with you. Shion smile sweet, uh, smiled sweetly and took my hand. I immediately squeezed back and returned the smile of my own. We've smiled? My God, we truly are breaking down. Lately, I found that I've been able to smile again. It was because she was smiling and happy. Whenever I smiled, she seemed delighted too. What time is it? It's time for you to get a watch. Oh, sucker. Um, let's see. I quickly looked down at my wristwatch. Nine, uh, nine fifty-eight, eleven seconds a.m. There are two minutes to go. Okay. It's about to begin. The last of humanity's steps into space shall be carved into this planet's sky. We both fell silent. We keep quiet and look up at the sky. Though the spaceport is quite far, we're, we probably couldn't make anything out from here. I was glad all the same. The sky was so blue, and even that ominous red star which glistened through the gaps in the white clouds seemed beautiful. The... Digital display on my watch read 10 o'clock a.m. The appointed hour. There was a rumble f from far, far away. Bird! <laughs> the bird is the plane! The bird is the ship! It was like a baby's first cry and the scream of the Therons of Death all at once. An ear-splitting reverberation uh, with such force that it contained with it all the celestial bodies in the distant sky ahead. I had no doubt it was an uh, auditory illusion, but I could hear a virtuous echo plain as day. It was, and I was sure Shon could hear it too. At some point, Shon had clutched to Elika's had clutched onto Elika's lock of hair with a tightly grasped grasping gripped not grasped the, I'm getting caught up in all the, the feels gripped in one hand she looked up at the sky and stretched her other hand towards the heavens go be free she whispered affectionately she turned to the sky with a smile on her face and waved her hand Maybe, just maybe, she could see those travelers as they set out on their journey. It is the great journey. They are embarking on the great journey. Something whiffed past my eyes. When I followed it, I saw feathers fluttering and dancing against the orange-dyed scenery. Those dark-colored wings with a vivid blue pattern printed upon them. 
It was a swallowtail butterfly. Really? Hmm. It's the first time we've seen a butterfly in this. No, we've seen a butterfly before, but still, I like butterflies. They're cute. I was seated on the grass. Shion, who was resting her head on my shoulders, let out a small murmur. Then she opened her eyes. A butterfly. Ah. Yeah. Agehara. A swallowtail. Agehacho. A swallowtail butterfly. It's my first time ever seeing one. Really? Uh, not rare on this mountain. Well, she's barely been on the mountain. She's been in the cabin all this time, remember? I've had a lot of firsts here. Shion got up from my shoulder and was staring vacantly at the butterfly. Hey, Ryo. Hmm? Yes? Was I asleep? Yeah. Fast asleep! What, were you not supposed to be? We watched as the final ship ascended into space, and then, like someone had flipped a switch, she instantly fell asleep. I considered waking you up, but it looked like you were really comfortable. So, I just decided not to. Yeah, thank you. Did you get enough? Yeah, I feel really good right now. My body and soul feel completely clear. That's good. That's good. I see. I nodded and held a lock of Elika's uh, hair out of her. Oh, out to her. It's Elika's hair. I thought he was talking about Shion's hair. I'm sorry. I took care of it so it wouldn't get blown away by the wind. Given how tight a grip you had on it, it probably wouldn't have... It would have been fine either way, though. Thank you. Shion took the lock and gazed at it lovingly. Elika? My job is complete. I can die happy now. You saved me when I couldn't do anything, Elika. When Shion smiled, her face looked astonishing, astonishingly similar to Elika's. Real? Because you were here, I was able to see the final ship off in peace. I'm so happy. Her whisper was like a song. And as if drawn to that song, the swallowtail landed on her hand. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Butterflies don't normally do that! Ryo? Shion spoke, fascinated by its wings. <laughs> At long last, we're all alone on this world. No, we're not! We still got the birds and the trees and the, the microorganisms and the rabbits! <laughs> you know, and the platypuses! The platypi! <laughs> They're still here. Yeah. There's no one left but us. Ryo? You're all I have left. Shion sent the swallowtail away with a gentle wave of her hand. Oh, there it goes! That's the butterfly from the from the main menu right now. The black-winged butterfly fluttered away, carried by the wind. However, this is the world I wished for. What? An empty one? A quiet, calm world, all alone. With you! She does love us! My wish... ...is the same as yours. No further words were necessary. We just sat there, looking up into the sky together. And we knew... We knew that this was it. This was the moment that we were truly together. Shion sprung up at me and I caught her in my arms. Whoa! Overexerting yourself! I t held her small head against my chest. After fully feeling her warmth, I looked down and saw her eyes welling with tears. The sight felt like a needle through the heart. Not a knife, but a needle. You know, it just hurts just that much. Ryo? Shion touched my cheek as if trying to calm me down. Yes? Set amidst these now uninhabited world sunset. Just, just look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. I love that. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. Hopefully, if I remember, I will remember. I'll be sure to. Okay. It's just more sad because we know that she's gonna die soon. So, yeah. There was nothing more that needed to be done. Just, just the white screen. 
All that remained was to wait for the curtain to drop on both of our lives. Like the stage which she had once performed, this time there would be no curtain call. No, uh... No encore. Our days were spent doing nothing. We waited for the day the overwhelming force would mark an end to it all. On that night, we saw the final ship. Shion collapsed. Well, that's not good. She's done that a few times. Don't. Just... She did not wake up for three days. <laughs> three days! We spent that time making potato salad. Well, I did. She didn't. She was asleep. The, rhythm the rhythmic sleep breathing I had grown accustomed to changed slightly. Are you waking up? I looked up from the paperback I had been reading and shifted my attention toward the girl in the bed. Battle Royale. That's what I'm reading right now. You're <laughs> awake! Yay! Her eyelids slowly lifted, and those crystal clear eyes came into view. How many days has it been? Three days! With her eyes still pointed at the ceiling, Shion asked me in an un unambiguous, ambiguous tone. Three days. It'll be noon shortly. I see. With that whisper, she suddenly tried to sit upright. It was rash to do that immediately after following three days of sleep. <laughs> Lie down a little longer. You need, you, there's no need to force yourself. Slowly work your body. More importantly, are you hungry? Thirsty? Anything? I'm alright. I want to get up. Well, I bet you do, but, you know, rest. You need to, you need your, your body needs to figure out that it's awake again. With this... When she insisted this admirably, I couldn't fight her. Of course, if she wanted at least this... If she wasn't at least this pushy, then she probably wouldn't have been fit to be the project's leader. Using me as support, she slowly picked herself up. Ryo? Yes? What is it? Were you here the whole time? All three days? Well... Sorta, of, I did kind of have to go take a pee every once in a while, had to eat some top ramen and some cookies, you know. Masaka. <laughs> Impossible. I shook my head and smiled wildly. I had to tend to the fields and the chickens, and I had to eat at some point. But I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Nah, I didn't have to do that. But you were here the whole time aside from that, weren't you? Mana. More or less. Since all she was doing was sleeping, her breathing was calm, and she didn't seem to have a fever, I hadn't been too concerned. Still, I couldn't let my guard down. Her condition could change at any time. I just sat here and read. It did, so, I, it did get somewhat boring, I guess. You know, we only have like about maybe a few dozen books on that shelf. I read through, like, all of them in the first hour. I see. Hmm? For some reason, Shion blushed and cast her eyes downward. You were watching me here the whole time. Well, now you're making it sound creepy! It was endearing! No, no it's not like I watched you the whole time. I just checked on how you were doing now and then. Okay, so, is this one of those trick questions answers where it's like... Uh, what, you were in here watching me the whole time? You're a creep. Or, what do you mean you weren't watching me the whole time? Don't you love me? Which one is she talking about? Which one does she mean? It's not nice to stare at a girl while she's sleeping. Okay, so it's the negative one. Sure. Do you feel off at all? Ryo? You haven't changed one bit. Well, it's only been three days. What would change in three days exactly? Never mind. Let's go outside. Outside? Again? You see, this is what hap this is what caused the three-day coma. Going outside. <laughs> I yelled without meaning to. Chun frowned at my raised voice, but the only one it seemed to befuddle was me. You were lying there for three days! Your legs must have lost some strength in that time. 
I won't suggest you carry me on your back or anything. You just have to support me on, at your side a little. But, you know, but tomorrow I may not be able to walk anymore. Her sharp voice and dagger-like glare was quite uncomfortable. Common sense and half-hearted sympathy were meaningless before her ironclad will. Where do you want to go? And I will take you there. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering splendor. She wants to see the lake. So, we will go to the lake! Shone walked with a limp in her stride. She leaned on me as if she started to fall, but even then, once she regained her bearing, she went straight back to walking on her own. Was she just being stubborn, or could she only see what was in front of her? Whatever it was, she was trying to be strong. Even now. It's so great, man. Sean, like, inspiring character 2015, because that's when I started this game. I dreamt the whole time. What kind of dream? Was it a pleasant dream? Was I there? I can't remember. Oh, of course you can't! can't tell me about the dream, but I think it was a very nice dream. I had the feeling I heard the voices of people I dearly miss. I see. So, Elika. It's really the only person. Oh, that's no good. No good? What is? Stop beating around the bush. Be direct with me. Remember, I'm Rio. <laughs> Shone's eyebrows scrunched together and in a dissatisfied frown appeared on her face. I can't believe I'm talking about my dreams. Nobody cares about the dreams of others. That's not true! I love hearing about other people's dreams. It's awesome. I do care, though. I'm curious about what sorts of dreams you have. My mental activity really must be getting worse, unless uh, thoughts seem to be more abundant now. I don't think you're useless. A while ago, I met Elika in my dream, so it, if not for that, I, I may have gone with Maya. So, you know, divine intervention or something like that. That's because you're romantic. Romantic? Me? <laughs> Don't be silly. Between the two of us, I thought I was the more pragmatic one. You take illusions seriously and are able to re uh, re reconcile them upon ideals grounded in reality. To put it nicely, it's handy. And less than nicely, uh, par paradoxical. I don't really follow. Stop using big words! From Shion's point of view, that was an illusion of what was reality. It's fine if you don't understand. It's enough for me as long as you keep on being who you are. Well, I'm good at that! <laughs> the way Shion spoke and behaved since she awoke was subtly different. The only cause I could think of was... it had to be that. What was it?! What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? Oh, it's- No! Don't say it's nothing! Something's the matter! Oh. What did the kiss we shared mean to us? It means it was a kiss! Neither of us were children, so it wasn't worth making a fuss over. We simply got carried away by the mood. My gut told me that was closest to the truth. Well, you, your gut is wrong this time, okay? Of course it was- it wasn't sure such a minor event that we could pretend it never happened either. You don't have to worry. Don't have to worry. Huh? You gave me more, uh, one more memory I can carry with me. I'm so happy, that's all. In these silent mountains, her voice uh, resonated wondrously in my heart. I appreciated the time we were spending together all over again. It was something very special to me. Alrighty, you guys. I'm gonna end the episode here. We're gonna come back. We're gonna be sitting by a lake. We're gonna be doing things. So, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like and favorite if you did. Subscribe, of course, if you feel inclined to. Leave comments down below. And I want you to be a good person, to be righteous, keep moving forward. And I'll see you next time. I'm out there in YouTube land. 
so I'll see you then.